Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Kevin Dolan and Brian Leonard of wagertalk.com. We're talking a big one, kicking us off on Saturday, Kevin. Oklahoma and Texas, Red River. Well, not sure what we're supposed to call it nowadays, but we are seeing the Sooners minus three in the hook, 64 and a half being the total, Kevin. You liking anything here? Oklahoma and Texas on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, I'd always say Red River rivalry, obviously, but I've heard different things, Red River showdown and so on. I don't know. I'm the same as you. I don't know what it is now. But, you know, I would say, honestly, this is my favorite head-to-head rivalry game in all, all of college football. Um, just because it's it's always been like an offensively blessed game. I think it's averaged 70 points per game over the last decade. Uh, we had that 98.4th overtime thriller last season as well. So, you know, just from a fan perspective, I hope we get more of the same here. Uh, in terms of a play, um, I'd look towards the Sooners here, short road favourites in this one. You know, there's no question uh, Oklahoma have absolutely stunk up the joint as favourites this year. You know, 1-4 ATS in the season. Uh, the only team they've hung over 40 points on all year was the Western Carolina Catamounts. So, you know, it shows you must have struggled to get going all year. But, you know, saying all that, I actually think this matchup against Texas kind of suits Oklahoma a lot more here on Saturday. You know, the Longhorns rank fourth nationally in Russian offense. Uh, they put up an average of 268.8 yards per game this year. Uh, over their last three starts, that's improved again to 345.3 yards per game, second in the country. So this is an area of the game that Steve Sarkeesian's obviously targeted for the Longhorns here. But this Sooners run defense is no joke. You know, they've held all five of their opponents to 100 yards or less in the season, 79.4 yards on average. And, you know, they've allowed just 2.9 yards per rush attempt as well. So this sets up uh, for me for a really kind of dynamic game on the ground here this weekend. And I think as good as Texas, you know, have looked this year on the ground, this Oklahoma run defense should be able to limit them somewhat here on Saturday. And, you know, on the flip side, if this game goes into an air battle type of shootout, you know, it's arguably, a, you know, a little bit of a mismatch. You know, Casey Thompson, look, no doubt he's looked very good over his three starts this year since coming in in week three. Um, but, you know, Spencer Rattler, one of the standout talents in the league to start the season, at least, you know, he did struggle early on. Uh, he looks somewhat back to himself against K-State last week. So, yeah, I think minus three is absolutely fair enough here. And if my money's going to get involved in this one, it's going to be on the Oklahoma side of the ledger. All right. Looking towards the Sooners in this rivalry game, Brian. What are you liking in uh, what the state of Texas on Saturday? You know, it's interesting. Kevin and I usually don't disagree on games. And I'm not a huge fan of Texas in this game, but there's no way I want to play Oklahoma uh, this is a team on the season. They have yet to lose a turnover battle in any game, and yet they've only covered once, and that was against uh, Western Carolina. Uh, against the FBS schedule, they have yet to cover the spread. Uh, they p- open the season against Tulane. They win the game by five. First downs, completely even, 24 apiece. Then they play Nebraska. They win that game by seven. They're plus three in first downs. They play West Virginia, only win by three plus one first down. And then Kansas State last week, they went by six in a game that was even on first downs. Uh, Oklahoma depends too much on the big play. They don't have an offense that's able to bring that, bring, uh, move the change on a, on a consistent basis. Uh, I don't want Oklahoma here. Texas, to me, has played the better ball this season. Uh, Oklahoma's been a major disappointment. Um, if it comes down to it and I could pick a team to win the game, I think Texas wins the game. They're catching three here. I think they're the better team. I didn't think I'd see that coming into the season. But this Oklahoma team has shown us nothing thus far. And they haven't had a game now that uh, that they've lost a turnover battle. And once they do, I don't expect a win from Oklahoma. Give me Texas. I think they win this game on the money line. All right, like in the Longhorns for Brian Leonard. Guys, check him out at wagertalk.com. Kevin Dolan as well. And also remember, each and every Monday at Wager Talk, it's $9 Monday. All plays from all handicappers in all sports, discounted to just $9 on Mondays. Check it out, wagertalk.com.